Today I will introduce the operation steps of connecting the BSL battery with the Solis inverter, and now I will introduce the panel of the inverter. In order, here is the connection grid, here is the backup load, and here is the diesel generator interface. Then follow the left L live wire, N0 wire, and PE ground wire to connect. The first port is connected to BMS. The second port is smart meter. The third and fourth ports are used for parallel communication control. The fifth port is used for digital rights management. And the sixth port is connected to RS-485. Bottom one is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, and this one is the negative terminal of the battery. Last two interfaces, the left side is connected to the white wire of the CT smart meter. And the right side is the black wire. Step 1. Through the COM3 port, insert the two wires into the corresponding jacks of the CT smart meter. Pass the CT through the live wire of the power grid, and the arrow needs to point to the direction of the power grid. Then pass the positive and negative wires through the waterproof terminal. Connect the positive wire to the L port, and connect the negative wire to the N port. After the connection is completed, pull lightly to judge whether the connection is stable. Then connect the positive and negative wires of the household load, the positive wire is connected to the L port, and the negative wire is connected to the N port. In actual use. The load and the grid need to be connected in parallel. Step 2, next, connect the CAN communication line, pass the communication line through the COM1 port, and insert it into the first port, and connect the other end of the communication line to the CAN interface of the battery. Step 3, next, connect the power line of the battery, the positive pole is inserted from the BAT positive terminal, and the negative pole is inserted from the BAT negative terminal. Loosen the positive screw, pass the screw through the round hole of the live wire port. And then tighten it with a screwdriver. The same goes for the negative connection. The other end of the bat positive pole is connected to the positive pole of the battery, and the other end of the bat negative pole is connected to the negative pole of the battery. Then connect the two sets of interfaces to the solar panel. After the connection is completed, check whether all the line connections are complete. If they are complete, you can turn on the switch of the photovoltaic hardware. After the completion, turn the dip switch to the position of 1. When paralleling the machine, follow the dip table and dial 2, 3, and 4 in sequence. Step 4. Next, connect the USB to the RS-232 communication cable. The registered jack is connected to the battery RS-232, and the USB port is connected to the computer or host computer. Open the upper computer software, check the communication port is correct, and open the communication window, you can see the communication status in the lower left corner, normal is normal. Then select system settings. Read the communication protocol. Enter the operation password of the upper computer, read again. Select Solis protocol, and then write to the BMS board. After the operation is completed, return to the main page. Step 5. After all wiring harness connections are completed, connect the data logger to the COM port of the inverter. Then turn on the power grid. Wait for the inverter to start up, and the startup is complete. Next, we will introduce how to configure the inverter with Solis app. Open the app. Select more tools. Select a local configuration. And use Bluetooth to connect. Here you can see the inverter starting with INV, click connect. Then select the installer, enter the set password, and enter the inverter after confirmation the main interface of the device configuration. Then select settings to enter the quick setting interface. The first step is to set the inverter system time, which is already synchronized by default. In the next step, select the battery protocol, and choose Lyothlam battery mode. 
The next step is to connect CT or meter, we choose CT. In the next step, select the standard of the power grid and use the default. Enter the last step, here is to set the working mode of the battery, here we use the self-use mode. Ok, the setup is complete. Step 6, after all settings are completed, turn on the switch of the battery. And the inverter will display the power information of the battery. Finally, close and tighten the cover. Step 7, according to the actual needs of customers, you can choose the working mode, and set the charging and discharging time and current in the working mode. Here we choose to set discharge at 547, and then turn on the load. Turn off the emergency stop. Turn on the power switch. Turn on the load switch, wait for the initialization to complete, and then turn on the corresponding load gear, here we use the 3KW gear. Open the main interface of the mobile app, and you can see the battery discharge power level and other detailed information.